retailers. So, you know, you, there's not too many drams, in my opinion, that you'll get for that sort of price with this sort of quality. non chill filtered, natural color, cost strength, everything that's good um, for under 60 quid. And you're getting to try Oddbeg, albeit quite young, but balanced so well with that uh, 15 year old Kulila. Well, good day, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Whiskey Journey. Today, I've got another Scotch whiskey review for you guys. So I'm reviewing this bottle right here. And um, this is from independent, independent bottler, uh, Chalton Whiskey. And this bottle is a single blended malt uh, from two different distilleries. So we have Oddbeg, uh, five-year-old spirit, uh, which makes up two thirds. And the last third is from a Colila, uh, peated Colila, um, 15 year old. So nice sort of blend of young and old spirit. So I'm very, very interested to see what we'll get with this one. The bottle on my left here, or we sample, is another peated spirit. And this is from the Duncan Taylor single cost series. And this is a Lefroy 11 year old bottled at 55.7%. So I look forward to trying that as well. And that'll be for my next review. Right, so onto this bottle. So, um, as I said, two thirds odd big, one third Kalila. Odd big is five years, Kalila is 15 years. Um, they've called it now, I'm not sure, sure on the, my pronunciation of this, but Dun Jerig, spelled D-E-A-R-G. I think you, you pronounce it Jerig. Um, so as I said, a vatting of two hogsheads and um, 507 bottles, um, non short filtered, natural color, cost strength, 56.9%, 56.9% ABV. Okay. Right, so as you can see, I'm starting to get into my peated drams. Um, this one, um, good price as well. This was under 60 pounds. I think it was about 56 pounds 50. And um, as I said, quite a rare thing to get on big um, at cost strength, even though, I mean, the spirit's only five years old. So let's just see what we get on the nose first and uh, see what notes we get. Okay, so the first thing I get is almost like toffee. Uh, caramel toffee sort of wafers. I'm getting some brine as well. Olive oil. Oh, olives, olives and brine. There's some lemon, some citrus. And some peat in the background there. Very, very sweet, beautiful toffee. That toffee note, toffee wafer note is just divine. Some maritime influence as well. Some smoked fish. Yep, sea spray, oysters, that sort of vibe. A bit of honey too, so quite sweet as I've said already. The peat is a little bit shy, but I'm getting some nice earthiness as well just now, some soil. A little bit of barnyard funkiness, not much though. Yeah, that rich soil note is really starting to shine and come out. All right, let's see what it's like at its natural strength and see what we get on the palate. Okay. Mm. Powerful finish. Smoke, peat, fish, smoked fish. Mm. That's just lovely. So initial palate, very nice oily arrival, good viscosity. I would say medium to full bodied. Greeted with some sweetness, honey, some fruitiness, some maritime influence, some um, 
smoked fish, a um, little bit of chalkiness, a little bit of minerality, a little, bo little bit of vegetal funk as well. So I'm definitely picking up some of the Kalila there. But then huge wave of peat, beautiful peat and smokiness now in the finish. A little bit of chocolate. Almost a hint of breadiness as well. There's a little bit of tannins uh, from the wood. Mm, that finish just remains beautiful. Maritime notes with that smoke on the end. Um, drinks very, very well at 56.9% ABV. I don't feel any alcohol, you know, intrusion of alcohol or anything like that. It's is very nicely balanced. But we will add um, just a few drops of water. I think that was four. Okay. Hmm. Just now on the finish, starting to get some pebbles. There's just some chalkiness. Um, definitely more minerality on the finish. Hmm. But that peatiness remains. Okay, so let's just try it now with just a, a few drops of water and see if that's changed the profile at all. Hmm. Okay, so more sort of fruitiness coming out, some more apricots. Almost like dried fruit character coming up now. So apricots, some raisins. Still getting some olives and brine. The earthiness is there and that soil nature is there, but it's been slightly pushed a wee bit. Still getting, getting some malted barley, some honey. A little bit of farminess, a little bit of funk. And peat. I think the addition of water definitely adds, um, and you definitely get some more peat on the nose. On the, on the nose at full strength, um, the peat stays more in the background. This is now becoming a little bit more prominent now. So that's a really nice nose, really good. Right, that beautiful toffee note still remains. Okay, so let's just try this on the palate then and see what we get. smoke and peat on the end so that's lovely as well the addition of water though has um, made the palate a little bit less oily so viscosity now is more medium so a little bit of less oiliness and um, but the fruit there's more fruitiness that comes out so I'm getting more apricots some peach um, some mangoes, and then it just, once again, you get this beautiful maritime influence with smoked fish, some salt, it comes quite salty in the finish as well. Um, a little bit of spiciness from the barrel, maybe a hint of licorice as well in the aftertaste. And then in the finish, just beautiful maritime influence, lots of smoke, lots of peat, um, absolutely gorgeous beautiful and um, for a five-year-old um, and i think that the addition of that 15 year old kalila um, has really given this a bit more complexity a bit of maturity you can still taste it's quite young but you definitely taste that there's more maturity there than the five years of age in my opinion um, just very very enjoyable and in my opinion one of the bargains at the moment when you think of cost strength and peated whiskey as I say this 56 pound approximately sold out from Chorlton whiskey but you can see, I have seen it um, available um, with other retailers so you know you, there's not too many drams in my opinion that you'll get for that sort of price with this sort of quality non chill filtered natural color cost strength everything that's good um, for under 60 quid and you're getting to try Oddbeg albeit quite young, 
that balance so well with that uh, 15 year old Kalila. Um, just really, really enjoyable overall, guys. And um, if you can get a bottle, I certainly um, would advise that you get one um, because I don't think it's going to last too long. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, um, highly, highly enjoyable. And um, I'll definitely try more from Chalton Whiskey. They are quite an underrated independent bottler, in my opinion. Um, but as I say, this one sold out very quickly, so um, maybe they're getting more recognition. And um, that's a good thing, in my opinion, because they're all their bottles, they release, they look to release some really good stuff. Okay. Okay, guys, so that's my review of Chalton Whiskey's uh, Dun Jerig, uh, five-year-old. As I said, a batting of Ardbeg and Kulila, five-year-old and 15-year-old, respectively and a cost strength, natural coloured, etc. And it's a stunner. Highly, highly enjoyable. One of the bargain peated whiskies I've had this year, in my opinion. And as I said, for my next review, I'll be doing this Duncan, yeah, Duncan Taylor single cast of Lefroig 11 year old. Okay, guys. Okay, so um, guys, as usual, thanks for watching. And if you enjoy my content, please like, comment and subscribe to the channel. It's always appreciated. But as usual, guys, there's not much else to say, except have a fantastic day. And I'll see all of you again soon. Take care, guys. Cheers.